Hey there boys and girls, today we're going to be doing the Lich fight on the JP server. Um, as you can see, I've already got all the missions. Um, my recording kind of messed up on me, but we're going to go back and do it again. Taking a friend Dark Fena with us. Uh, we got Lid, she's here for her breaks. Warrior Light's going to be our innate provoke tank. He's got dual cast on to help out with healing. Cecil's going to be our magic tank. He's geared with lightning, uh, ice, and fire resist. And Cecil can also buff those elements, so that's really handy for us. Um, Lena's going to be our healer. Um, she's here pretty much just to put re-rays on Warrior Light. Uh, Palam and Porum's going to be our DPS. Um, they have they have some lightning resist as well. Uh, their defense and spirit's not that great because I don't have any pots for them yet. And we're going to be taking a friend, Dark Fina. Just high magic. Um, I think Odriel's actually set up for a different fight. But that's okay. We should be able to get a win with, uh, with this right here because our... Units are pretty power creep for this fight. <clears throat> That's going to kind of probably be the running theme for how I'm doing these, you know, until I, uh, until I catch up with the content. Alrighty, so he preemptively silences everybody. Um, Warrior Light's really great because he can fix that visibility there. And then Lena is going to get a re-raise out on Warrior Light. Let's see. The twins are going to get ready, going to get ready to do their fire chaining as well as Fina. Pull down a pair of these. Uh, let's see here. Lid's going to get her breaks out. It's attacking magic, and Cecil's going to give buffs and cover, just like so. So the big thing about Lich, obviously the magic magic attacks, he's got a death attack that goes out on his first turn every time, uh, especially with a new body, it's something you got to kind of keep in mind, so you got to have a re-raise on that. And did you see that yellow circle there? That tells you what element he's going to use, so like on Global when we're doing it with Carbuncle, <clears throat> uh, as our resistance buffer, we want to make sure to get a lightning out right there. Um, we don't really have to do that on the JP server because we're using... Like I said, some power creep units. We'll get ready to quad again. And uh, the JP's got a desktop app that you can actually keyboard chain with. That's really kind of neat. And I messed up my chain. That's okay. No big deal. We still did lots of damage. Uh, since we pushed the threshold, he's going to do another death attack, so we have to be ready for that. I have to get my chaining skills down. I'm going to dual cast some heals with Warrior Light. Uh, Lid really has nothing to do here. He's going to give us some uh, mana back. Cecil can just defend. I think we took a stat break right there too. <clears throat> or maybe it's on this turn. There's fire. Oh, should have had a death attack. Maybe I need to look over the fight a little bit more. Let's try to chain see if we can do it right this time. There we go. Got perfect chain there. Uh, Lena's going to put a re-raise back on Warrior Light. Warrior Light's going to heal again. Uh, Lid has nothing to do here. Cecil is going to put some Holy on the boss. For the mission parameter. It's safe to use Holy here because you're going to get a new body and you won't get a retaliation from that. Alrighty, so we got a stat break on all of our guys and a damage over time effect. They lowered our spirit, so that makes that damage over time effect hurt a lot more. Uh, we do have an active re-raise on Warrior Light, so we're safe to use uh, this LB to remove the stat break. But with our chainers, let's see. We need to reapply the fire in peril and then chain again. And we'll go ahead and quad with Fina. That off. We'll get Cecil to redo buffs. It's cover. We'll get Lid. I'm gonna use her uh, cooldown break. Pretty good damage there. Uh, let's see here. Warrior Light really doesn't have much to do here. We'll just have him. Actually, we took a silence. We need to remove that. You always get a silence and a death attack on Lich's first. Uh, uh, like you get a silence as a preemptive and then you get a death tech on his first uh, first turn <clears throat> that's something you have to be mindful of 
And if you're not sealing uh, holy on him, you uh, you don't uh, you get an imperil as well. Let's see here. We're gonna get our quad ready again. That off. Let's see how much damage we do. This should kill him. Good deal. Awesome. So Lin is gonna get a re-raise on Warrior Light for next turn. Warrior Light's gonna go ahead and top our guys off. Uh, let's see, Cecil's gonna refresh his buffs and his cover. We're gonna have him do mitigation next round. Let's see, Lid is gonna give us some mana back. So we're in pretty good shape going into uh, going into round three. So far we've got the missions out of the way. We've got a re-res up. Uh, we'll have Cecil use his limit burst to get us general mitigation. I should have let that play, my apologies. Uh, we have to re-imperil the boss. That's the nice thing about the twins is their imperil uh, is on a two turn cooldown so they have it up pretty readily available. Uh, Fina's cooldown, it's offset by a turn so we have to use our limit burst to have it rotationally ready for us. And that's a... These CG animations are fucking awesome. Look at that. That's so good. Uh, let's see, we've got a re-raise on Warrior Light so we will use our delayed heals with Lena. That's kind of her big thing. She's basically like a mix of Fulka and um, Athena. Let's see. We'll remove the silence because we're going to have to get a um, re-raise out next turn. As you can see, that damage over time effect really hurts um, my character because she doesn't have uh, defense and spirit pots. There's our death attack. And in phase three, he does two circles, so we're going to take ice and or, uh, yeah, ice and fire this round. That's something to be mindful of when it comes to global. <clears throat> Go ahead and quad. And that off. There's Lena's delayed heal over heal that she does. Lots of damage. That's awesome. We'll put a re-raise on Warrior Light. Uh, let's see here. We've still got Diesel's mitigation. He's got buffs and all that good stuff ready. So we'll use cover. Not twice. Good God. We'll use cover. And we'll use his big magic cooldown right here. Uh, let's see, Warrior Light. He really don't have anything to do. We'll use his big cooldown to mitigate some more damage. Lid's already got breaks on the bosses. Get some MP back. Of course, this fight's not going to go any further than this next round. So there's the Death Attack into Re Raise. He does some nukes. Buffs himself up. Every time he goes through a, a phase transition, he um, reapplies his mitigation. That's important to know for Global. So if you're waiting on his mitigation to drop off, you want to make sure to, to b really burst him hard. Uh, this should be our kill turn, unless I screw up the chain. So we'll get some more holy ready just to make sure we got the missions. That off. Lots and lots of damage. Good deal. So there's kind of a preview of the fight. Um, you know, I'm trying to play on JP now, so I got to clear these trials out. And I figured, you know, why not show them to everybody? Um, we're, we should get this fight this month on Global. So, you know, there's sort of a preview of the mechanics. You got a damage over time effect, fire, ice, and lightning damage. Um, if you if you use Holy on the boss to actually seal him, uh, you don't take the imperil, but uh, he'll do a dark attack at that point. So your magic tank will need fire, ice, lightning, and dark to mitigate all the damage. And then, like I said, innate provoke, I feel like is the most important thing there. Make sure you have a way of removing that silence so you can uh, get your re-raise out on your, on your provoke tank. 
I do think Esther will do quite a bit of damage to this boss as well, so... Um, you know, even though I use some really, really powerful mages on this fight, I feel like Esther can pretty much replicate that kind of damage. But anyways, there's my Lich Kill. Hope you guys like it. Um, I'm going to be working on some more fights on the JP side. And as I beat them or figure out how to beat them, I'll try to upload them. I hope you guys have a, a wonderful rest of the week. Toodaloo!